You have the floor, Excellency. Thank you. President of the General Conference, Chairman of the Executive Board, Director General of UNESCO, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen, I'm happy to be here this morning to address the 41st General Conference of UNESCO. The Ghana delegation joins previous speakers to congratulate you, Mr. President, and also the General uh, Secretary for your re-elections. Excellencies, as we celebrate the 75th anniversary of our dear organization, Ghana applauds UNESCO for the dividends that have accrued to the peoples of the world through its foresight and watchdog functions. UNESCO's international platform for promoting free and open debate in education, the sciences, culture, communication, and information have contributed immensely in addressing many of the challenges that have confronted our world during the last 75 years. Mr. President, our collective commitment to protect nature has become more important than ever before. Biosphere reserves have proven to be charting clear pathways towards biodiversity and nature conservation stands to member states who have who continue to designate biosphere reserves to demonstrate their commitment to conservation and sustainable development. Our experience over the past 50 years on the Man and Biosphere Program has demonstrated that biosphere reserves function as sustainable models for living in harmony with nature. UNESCO currently boasts of 727 network of biosphere reserves in 131 countries covering more than 5% of the Earth's surface. With this achievement, there's no doubt that biosphere reserves will significantly contribute to reach the 30% target of the post-2020 global biodiversity framework by 2030. It is in light of this that we call on the international community to formally recognize the contribution of biosphere reserves in the negotiations of the post-2020 biodiversity framework. The Director General's astute leadership role to address contemporary challenges through the slave trade project resistance liberty heritage is commendable. As we all know, the transatlantic slave trade in enslaved people regrettable as it is constitute an important landmark in the history of the world. We believe the time has come for UNESCO to repackage this part of world history for our common good to promote heritage tourism, particularly for the millions of people of our spiritual connections with their motherland and boost economic development. Mr. President, Ghana continues to chart a path of education transformation, beginning from 2017 with the introduction of free senior high school, which, enables, which has enabled over 400,000 more students to go to secondary school we continue to reform our education system in order to improve the quality and the relevance of our education. Science, technology, engineering, mathematics education is being promoted in the country. We have also consolidated our efforts, our efforts in TVET education, and we continue to ensure that we use education to create a virtuous circle of prosperity for all by not leaving anybody behind. Mr. President, we continue to ensure that the safety and the freedom of the journalists to perform their God-given profession is guaranteed. To guarantee access to information, Ghana passed the right to information law in 2019. Within two years, we have established the right to information commission with more than 1,000 employees across the country. Additionally, more than 400 duty-bearing institutions have been trained in simplified procedures to respond to information requests from citizens. In the area of journalist safety and, and the fight against impunity, Ghana has established a multi-stakeholder coordinated mechanism for the safety of journalists under the Independent National Media Commission. Mr. President, experiences from COVID-19 pandemic has taught us the need for international collaboration to address disinformation, fake news, and hate speech to secure the fidelity of our information ecosystem. 
In the light of the above, Ghana retraced its support for the programs outlined by UNESCO under Major Program 5 of the Draft Program and Budget 2022 to 2025. Finally, Mr. President, Ghana is proposing at this session a new Category 2 Center in Engineering Innovations, Manufacturing and Technology Transfer at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. This is contained in Item 5.4 of the agenda. We call on member states to support this initiative. Mr. President, Ghana stands resolute in support of UNESCO and will continue to play our role critically to ensure that UNESCO is positively projected in Africa and in the rest of the world. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. I call